Chinaman. Chinaman. Everybody look, it's Chinaman. So we have another package that just arrived. So we are going to break into it. Ah, I'm on camera. Sorry, I know. I'm a little goofy. Um, yeah. So. Oh. Oh. Is that the opposite? Okay, so this is the one that I showed you the other day. I'll have a second one. She's so cute. It's a good thing I love her. So good. I'm burning up. I'm working on a cup. And I had to like reuse one of the pieces and it ended up ruining it. So I had to remove the piece. It's called a water slide. I don't know if you've ever worked with a water slide before. That is a whole new animal, man. That is the coolest thing, I tell you. It's like a temporary tattoo and it goes in your printer so you can literally print whatever you want. And then you can apply it. Um, to any surface, really, I think, well, any non-porous surface. I don't think it would work on clothing. But, um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. But anyway, I had to remove the water slide, and it was a lot of work. Because it dried overnight. Because I thought, well, you know, it'll, it'll be okay, but yeah, it didn't look right. So I had to remove it. So I'm a little warm. It's like it's really hot in here. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm like exerting too much energy. This I love. I cannot wait to see the. Ooh, there's light blue. Ooh. Look how pretty! I love lizards, chameleons, all the stuff, all of them. I love them all. So when I saw this one and I saw how colorful it was, I was like. I must have it. Super cute. Oh, we didn't look at the drills on that one. They look exactly the same as the one, so I will spare you. Plus, they're in the adorable little baby bags. So let's look at what the chameleon gets. I see lots of special shapes here. Hello. We have a 12 different stones. The first three are all A, B, marquee. So we have purple, red, and the light green. I love them. Of course, when you turn it over, then they have to... There you go. There you can see the colors. And then we have orange and green rounds. And then it looks like the rest are rhinestones up to the end. So we have dark green and purple, blue and yellow, pink and crystal. And then look at these. I've never gotten these before. These are really pretty. They're a pale blue AB pearl. They are smooth. They do not have facets really like that. Where does that one go? That is the arrow. That is the outline of the chameleon, so that's pretty cool. Get these puppies wrapped up. They're so cute. I just love them. So happy and cheerful. So many colors. It doesn't look like there's enough. I hope there's enough. I'll be really sad if I don't have enough of those light blue because that's going to be a pretty outline. Pretty cute. I love him. Next. Voila. With the standard toolkit has been in each one. Sorry, I forgot. I'm like out of sorts right now. I had to, I discovered yesterday 
I went out into my garden and was you know, just like picking up some stuff. I had to, my bird bath literally had mold floating in it. It was so gross. So I had to go clean that out and clean up some mess from all the rain. And I just thought, well, I'll just take a peek at my milkweed because I had noticed a monarch flying around last week. And they should all be south right now. But um, apparently this guy, girl, stuck around. I had four, did I say four? I think I had four caterpillars on my milkweed. So I was all excited and there I had two plants that I did not put in the ground because when I had when I first got them, I wasn't able to protect them from the birds. So I only ended up with one butterfly that actually hatched out of its chrysalis. So I had left two plants in their pots so I could bring them in to protect if I got more caterpillars. So I quickly plucked them from their leaves um, that they were on and transported them onto the potted milkweed and brought them in and actually put them in my shower. Because it's the only like enclosed area where the cats can't get to because they like to eat plants. I cannot have plants in my house because the cats eat them. Emily is growing a corn stalk for science class at co-op. Well, we were all excited because it had grown like this long overnight, it seemed. Well, we wake up the next morning and it's halfway out of the dirt and half gone. So anyway, um, I had to go today to buy more milkweed, cat hair, in my eyeball. Um, and the weather was just insane. Oh, excuse me. This dang Sally hurricane needs to like go. We have been getting outer bands from this stupid storm and today was the worst. And of course I'm thinking, you know, the sky's really dark. I checked the radar. I'm like, oh, I can get you know over to the, to Mount Dora, um, before the rain hits because, you know, the nursery that I go to to get the milkweed is outside course. So I'm driving and I get like 10 minutes from the house and it just like, whoa, like hurricane, full on hurricane. White out conditions. The rain was just so heavy. So I decided to go into McDonald's to get a drink and they have um, a beautiful, like all covered overhang for the drive through, which is fabulous because you don't get soaked. So I pull up to the window. I'm like, I couldn't order at the kiosk because I didn't want to get drowned and she started laughing at me. But anyway, I'm sitting there and there was so much water coming off the roof. They have a gutter that's like on the side of the building in the drive through It was like a freaking deluge coming down. So I'm driving, nervous wreck, got blinded two different times from cars splashing water on my windshield because there was that much water on the roads. So I'm thinking I should just turn around and go home. I should turn around and go home. I kept, you know, to every red light, I checked the radar to see what it looked like. I mean, this was a huge, took up the whole center of the state for a good hour. So I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll chance it. You know, maybe I can still get there before it hits the worst. Well, I get there. It's not raining really hard. And I get one of the little carts so I can wheel over to the milkweed. And as I'm like putting my hand on the metal shopping cart, this lightning bolt hit and thunder was right behind it. I mean, I don't know if I screamed audibly or not, but I sure came out of my skin a little bit. Like, damn, these butterflies better appreciate this. So then of course that lightning bolt knocked out their computer system. So I had to stand around and wait probably 20 minutes and they couldn't get their system back up. So she's like, oh wait, I'll just use Square. So I had to walk her through how to do square to type in my card because she didn't have a swipe thing. This is why you should carry cash. Oy. So anyway, I got back home, put four of the plants, I bought five. I put four of the plants outside and I brought one inside and I actually found another caterpillar outside. So I have a total of 14 caterpillars right now hanging out in my shower and when I was like checking them and you know just just checking them counting them again 
because I'm so excited. I actually noticed that there is a chrysalis open on one of the plants. So a butterfly actually had already emerged before I even saw the other ones. So I was super excited about that. So anyway, it's my adventure. So I'm, I'm just a little like hyped up and <laughs> anyway. But I love butterflies. I have always wanted to watch them go through their, um, sorry, I'm shaking the table. I'm trying to smooth this out. I have always wanted to watch them, you know, go from stage to stage. And this is just so exciting because now that I've actually caught them in time and I can bring them inside, I will be able to watch them. Um, and they'll be protected from the birds, which is super exciting. So that is my excitement. Moving on, back to why you're here. I love this. This reminds me so much of Elsa. This is like totally, she, it, we gave her the perfect name because she acts like the queen for sure. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is Elsa all the way. We have to have this. And I, there's, um, you know, those night lights that they have that they're the acrylic cutout shape. They have one of these and I want to get it. I just have to find it. For a price I'm willing to pay because you know how cheap I am but yeah so I love this I can't wait to get this done and put it in Emily's room she had, she of course has not seen it she's at a friend's house right now so I have a quiet house it's beautiful it's fabulous all right so this one has 12 stones also and let's take a look and see what we have I love this purple metallic packaging, so pretty. All right, so we have yellow stars, then we have the orange rounds, we have crystal AB marquee, we have some red teardrops, there you go. We have, oh, we have some champagne teardrops. We, oh, we have the dreaded teeny tiny baby uh, teardrops. These things are so challenging. And we have red, pink, green, blue, orange, and yellow. I love this yellow. It's so pretty, nice and bright. I love it. Very nice. Very nice. I love the ABs. So, there you have it. So make sure you check out the description box. I will put a link for each of these. Um, if I can, well, if I can do a link for each of them, I will. Sometimes it doesn't get too difficult. But um, I'll definitely have a link to the shop. Okay, I didn't tell you where these came from to begin with. I just told you I was going to put the link. This is craftsyart.com. So this is a new company to me. And um, I forgot. I have one more. I almost forgot these guys. So sad. So I don't have these yet. So I'm very excited to have them now. Again, another kit with little bags this time. Very excited about these. Very, very excited. I wish I could use these in my resin pieces, but if you put resin over top of the drills, they lose their, it rounds out the facets and they just lose their sparkle. So it's kind of a bummer. But these are the dolphin keychains. And they are the Decent Acrylic. You can see I'm trying to bend it. It does not bend. So I'm very happy that the, it's the good quality ones and not the really thin ones. Double-sided, of course. This little guy. It's almost the same. A little bit different. And this one is, I, like, I think I like this one the best. It's the simplest, 
but it looks the cutest. It's got a lot of drills on it. And then we have this one. This one looks pretty cool. It's like he's standing up. Can't wait to see what those stones are. There's a lot there. And then, oops, we have this one. Very nice. And of course you get the ball chain and the little, um, are these C-clamps? I'm not sure what those are called. That comes with it and they all have a hole drilled in them so you can easily hang them. I do not recommend using these as an actual keychain because they tend to snap and break um, if they get too much um, wear and tear. So be warned of that because I have given quite a few of these as gifts to people and um, they've broken. And also if you bump them too much, even though I, I use a pretty thick, I use the triple thick clear spray adhesive or spray gloss to seal them, some of the stones will still break off if they get a lot of, um, you know, get banged around a lot. So these would be awesome. I'm using the majority of mine um, as Christmas tree ornaments this year, and they would be cute bag tags. So like if you want to hang them on a zipper of a, a bag or something where they're not going to get knocked around a lot, that's the perfect use for these guys. Okay, so we have crystal or AB clear marquee. We have blue marquee, and then we have black rounds. They are not faceted. They are just round, which I'm assuming will be the eyeballs. Yes, number seven is the eyes. And then we have some bigger blue rhinestones, that beautiful light blue. There's a lot of rogue drills in there. Uh -huh. I love it. And then we have the dark blue rhinestone, two shades of lighter blue. Nope, same one. The, these two are the same color. And then we have regular crystal and then a really pretty yellow, kind of a yellow ochre kind of color. It's a, that's a neat color. Not something I would expect to see on a dolphin. So let's see, where does number one go? Oh, okay, that's the outline. So that's gonna be pretty cool. So these two will have that yellowish brown outline around them. And then the rest, the other three will be just with all the different blues. I am very happy with these. I love doing the keychains too because they are super fast and they're so satisfying. These are just so sparkly. Plus I like this, I mean, it's something, you know, tangible that you can like carry with you. I can't believe I almost forgot to show you these. It was sitting there, I was like, oh yeah, it's a, oh, all the paintings. Uh -huh. When I looked up the, went to look up the email, I was like, oh wait, <laughs> the most exciting one, I almost forgot. Okay, so that is that for today. So I thank you so, so much for joining me. And please join me on Facebook. Um, since you cannot leave comments on my videos on YouTube, and that is, if you're new here, the reason for that is not my doing. That is YouTube because my daughter, Emily, used to be in my intro. So YouTube is protecting her since she is under the age of 13 and they will not allow comments on my videos. Even though she is no longer in any of my videos, I guess, you know, if they turn on comments for one or new videos, then it goes back to the old ones. I don't know. You'd think they would have a way to do that where they could, you know, like from this point forward, you can have comments. And from this point back, you cannot. You would think in this technology, but anyway. All right, so, sorry. <laughs> my eyes feel weird, I guess, because I was outside too much, but um, I feel all goopy. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I need to get off here and maybe go take a nap or something. I'll see you real soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.